A hematite included um, quartz uh, floater cluster. So this this crystal formed as is, didn't have any holding matrix. Formed like this in matrix. Um, so there's the one point of display. This one has, I, I love this, look at this. Lovely, you have the tiny crystals at the bottom there, one jutting out the side, these two predominant ones. Um, color wise, let's give you an idea. It's a pretty accurate indication of the actual color. And there's, there's not just one face in these crystals, they're actually a whole lot of tiny faces, so this would have recrystallized. And there on the, you've got this red phantom inside. So when we turn it over, we have a different view. So this wouldn't have the, the hematite come girth out in stages of oxidation because it was protected by, from the elements. So maybe it was sitting in a clay inside a cavity. Look at that. Lovely, lovely form. I love this. The form on this guy. Quite exquisite. Pretty good quality. Um, points are good. That's a pretty accurate indication. And could be displayed on a turntable. I'll give it a turn. Just move it around like this. Give it a turn. Well, the other side is a lot more appealing to me, but can be displayed all the way around. And of course, this is quite exquisite. Orange River region, uh, South Africa, hematite included quartz, and this would be from around about Goodhouse in South Africa.